Hi friends, I am Jitendra Bhakna. Today we will going to see a uh, basic things related to related to data wave transformation with Mule ESB. Okay, so basically, what is a data wave transform? Why we require the data wave transform in the Mule flow? What is the requirement? Okay, so consider the scenario. Consider scenario where you know like you are receiving the some message from the source that is in some different format. But when you are sending the message to some destination, they require that message in some different format. Like you have received the message in XML format, and you have to send back to in a JSON format to the destination. So you use the data wave transformation. Sometimes it it may happen like like customer you know source have a different XML, destination have a different XML. So you have to perform the data wave transformation. Okay. The other thing like. Okay, you, if you want to put some logic, like you have a two field uh, in the source, like first name and last name, but destination was saying like we want first name and last name in a one field, right? So we, there you can use the data wave transform, and you need to use some functions. Okay, you, either you can inbuilt functions, like you can have a custom function. So in this video, we will just going through the, like what is the data wave transformation? Just basic thing about the data wave transformation. We will see. We will cover some of the scenarios also. Okay. So one, let me open my Postman. We start the application. So before that, I will start open my Postman. Okay, that's fine. I open my Postman. So first thing, what I will do, I will going to create a new application file. New. Let's wait. Uh, it was taking some time. Okay. File new Mule project. I will Let's wait till a dialogue is opening. It's taking some time today. Okay, it has opened the dialogue for us, so I will give a DW transform. Uh, I have given the project name DW transform app. So runtime I will select 3.8. And as usual, like in your environment, there can be a multiple runtime. You can select depending on your choice. Rest of the setting I will not going to touch. I will click finish. Okay. Now I will drag and drop HTTP listener component into the message canvas. I will going to configure it. I will click on this add button. I will keep all setting as a default. I will press on OK. I will say DW and I will say um, post. Fine. Now after post, what I will do? I will use one transform message. So basically, a transform message is a component which you know which perform the data wave transformation. So I will go. So I will tell you what is our source message and what should be a destination message. So let me search for my data wave. Okay. So this is my source message where last name five. Okay. Is there? Let me open one more notepad. Or let me open in uh, Internet Explorer or something. I will open with. Let me check. There's some issue with XML also. That is fine. Okay. So we have to convert into that format. So what I will do? I will go to the transform message. I will click on this define my payload. Then I will say add. What I will say, I will say you have to give some name, employee underscore JSON, then say create type. Okay, so from type you have to select the JSON. You can either use schema or example. In this case, I will use example. I will click here and I will go to my example JSON. Okay, so it will list down all the, it will pass your JSON and list down all the fields available with your JSON. Next thing, now I have to 
uh, add the XML. I will say employee XML. You can give any name depending on your choice. Here I will say XML. I will say example. I will say let me. There's some issue with. Uh, let me one minute. Let me, let's wait. Uh, there is some issue with XML itself. So let me correct the XML and then not sure where is the issue. Let me check. This is employee closing employee first name, first name, last name, last name, age slash age, designation, designation. Is this is not a valid XML? I think it's a valid XML. Okay, I got the problem. I forget the slash here. Okay, so I will save it. Now I will try to again add the XML here. I will say XML. I will say example. I will click here. I will go to desktop. I will say. So you can it has list down all the string available, right? I will say select. Okay. So just a minute, I will show you how my XML looks. Okay, let me drag and drop here. Okay, I open. So this is how my XML looks. Okay. So what I will here you can see like notice that output we required in the application XML form. Simply what you have to do first name go to first name. I will say last name to last name, age to age, designation to designation. You can see the preview also. Okay, like create required data sample. See, you can see the output here. Right? So you can see your output also in the preview section. See, if you want to see, you can. Okay, so what we will do uh, finally, I will drag and drop one file location folder here. Okay, I will create one path under source test resources new folder. I will say out finish. Okay, I will configure this. I will say source test resources slash out. I will save the application. Fine. Now I will run the project. And let me do one thing. Let me open this and I will see. I post this message. This is my input message. Okay. I will use the postman. I will use post method. I will say DW. This is my path that we have defined. In the application, I have copied. Let me copy again. Okay, let me check if my application is deployed. It is ready. So I will say send. Okay, we got a successful response. Let me check in output folder. See, you can see the XML in the required format. Right now, other thing. This is one like we are transform now. If you want to transform from you know like uh, JSON to JSON, but in some different for uh, different way. So this is my input message, but in output I want like this. Let me open the notepad again. Okay, it is not. Let me. Let's open with see, this is here you know like I want name first name and last name in the one field but if you see the previous XML you know previous JSON you know first name and last name in a different field but in output we want in one field so what we will do first thing I will again go back to my transform message what I can do I can right click 
then I will say clear metadata. I will define new metadata. So what I will do add employee uh, employee out JSON. Right? I will say create type. I will select JSON. I will select example. I will say DV3. Okay, it has list down all the field. Now first name and last name should be in the one co field. So what we have to do? First name and drag and drop last name on the name only. See, we can see. But second thing we want a space between them. So what I can do? Plus plus I can say okay. So plus plus is used to add to string. Now I will say is into age designation into position. So what I can do, I will click on this preview. Okay, you can see, see, name Jitendra Bafna. Okay, you can see that. Okay, what we have to do. Okay, let me remove this part. Okay. Okay, you can do the changes here also. So now you can see like name Jitendra Bafna in one field. Okay. So let me save the application. It will again download the application for you. Let's wait. It will post the message. I got a response. Let me refresh my output folder. So you can see the output in the JSON format. Okay, so this is a simple data web transformation. So in my next video, we will see some more complex example like how we can, you know, like call the external custom function into a data web transformation. Okay. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching video.